All right, y'all. I can't really see the screen, but I know that it's recording. Let me make sure, because I thought I wasn't recording, but I was, and all this other stuff. All right. All right, this is one of the times we're going to start off thinking about good things. All right, and so I need this thing in front of me, y'all. All right, so let's think about good things. Let's think about what makes you smile. Let's think about a few things that make you smile. Just think about it in your mind's eye. Think about what made you smile today. What made you smile earlier? What made you smile when you woke up? What made you smile yesterday? What made you smile a few minutes ago? Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. All right. All right, so. Now let's think about what made us laugh. What makes you laugh? You saw a funny video that made you laugh. What was that? Think about it. You saw this comedian made you laugh. Think about it. You saw something crazy happen. It made you laugh. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. All right. You know, laughter is good for the soul. So think about what makes you laugh. And it might bring you to laughter right now. All right, now think about what makes you feel real good. All right, think about what makes you feel so good. It was that that massage chair that you were on. It was that 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 um that sitting on a beach basking in the sun it was that you know um just that quiet in the park as you watch the stars you know think about that think about that think about that think about that all right all right and so how y'all doing all right, so I wanted to bring some stuff, you know, and have a talk with you all. Um, just things have been on my mind and I feel like sharing. Um, today is the 23rd. It's nothing about today that I know of significant, uh, but I still been wanting to share with y'all. And so... Everything that's going on makes me come back to what I've been trying to share with y'all about waiting to have sex. Now, this is something that I talk about and I've been talking about it. And um, I'm just not talking about it to talk about it. But we can see this play out right now, what's going on. And so sexual discipline is important and that's what waiting to have sex is about sexual discipline because god made us to get it in he you know what you want to call he she it uh <laughs> god made us to to want to have sex you know that's something that rules the world in, in my opinion because it is what makes us continue you know, everybody got here through sex, you know, unless you attest to baby. You got here because your parents got it in at some point, right? <laughs> they made love and produce you. Hopefully it was love and love, right? But that's the thing. Sometimes um, because we do have these emotions of of horniness and and lust and want to get physical just based off of how somebody makes us react like their attraction our, our attraction to them makes our body react and so we want to have sex because they made our body react and if we go ahead and do it there are a whole lot of consequences that can come with doing that and so um and if we get in the habit of acting in that way, we we can have a whole lifetime of a certain kind of of life, you know, that you're creating when you do it. Your actions create. 
And so when you decide, how you decide to use your sexual activity, whether you want to wait for marriage, you're waiting for commitment, or as soon as you feel the urge, you go ahead and do it, you're creating what, you know, that life, and whatever that is in your life, that's what you're creating. And so sexual discipline is important and, and it's being it's showing up like crazy right now because it is, and I've been saying this, um, this is not something I've just said. When, especially in our community, when our men get in trouble, the majority of times, and it, it's across communities actually, the majority of times is because of a lack of, of sexual discipline. I mean, whatever celebrity or a leader or figure you want to think about, from from politics to music to sports to um, to the you know, your your college years or your your high school years or. I mean, it, it just goes on. Every aspect of our lives from the time we, you know, hit puberty on, we have to deal with our sexual discipline. And so we know of stories from the time we are young as teenagers to the time from right now of people lacking sexual discipline and what happened. Okay, that's in the form of STDs in the form of baby mamas, baby daddy drama in the form of um, side chicks and side dudes and um, in the form of people getting hurt behind, you know, somebody just acting off of their desire and, you know, um, so much goes on when there's and I say, I keep saying it's a lack of sexual discipline because if we discipline ourselves, there's certain things we wouldn't do. And if we do do it, it's, it's done in a way that is not going to harm our lives because we're going to think things through instead of just going off of um, our, our, lustful, our lustful desires, our, our nature to want to have sex. And, and God makes us that way so we can continue creating our, you know, ourselves. So we got to keep the babies coming in. It's an awesome creation. And so sexual discipline is so important and it remains so. And it's not to say for you who don't want to, quote unquote, get married because you know that's a whole other conversation that's a whole other video that we can talk about just get married not get married and and that you know i heard something recently a couple clips from a couple songs about marriage and, and people like you know like putting down marriage and, and it's not y'all community that's doing this right but but <laughs> That's the dam that's one of the damaging things that you can do to our young people is to tell them that marriage isn't good to do. But again, that's another video. So whether you whatever your beliefs are about marriage or not, it's still about your discipline. Because we don't want to just go on, you know, the abortion issue is out there, whatever. And whatever you believe about abortion right now you are able to do it right so you know lack of sexual discipline means a lot of abortions doesn't it uh so with a disciplined community as far as sex is concerned we would have a lot less abortions wouldn't we and i mean that's just one thing the STDs, the you know abortions, you got the 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 side chicks and the side dudes. This is people who, you know, they they wind up cheating because they they acting off of their desire and they got somebody, they, they got a happy family, even a happy relationship, even. And if they don't have sexual discipline, they would throw away their 
relationship or risk their relationship over fulfilling that desire. It's, it's really, it's interestingly disturbing to me that someone would, based off of attraction, throw away their whole lives because they can have a whole happy thing going on and because this dude is so fine to somebody or oh, this girl is so bad she's such a baddie to him and they gotta do it in their you know in their instant gratification mind that they risk their whole you know everything because a lot of times our our life is tied up in our relationship we either marry, we're in a committed relationship, we have a long-term situation, we, we, we're good. And then that person comes along that that just gets the heat going up in our body and, and we don't know how to act. And we throw it all away. Some, some decide, like I said, it's about the discipline. The baby mama, baby daddy drama, those who don't want to go ahead and... and you know have the abortions they have these babies with people they don't know because they gave into the temptation they gave into the lust they gave into the desire and what followed was a baby and so now you got a whole human being to take care of for the next you know people say up to 18 but no you you a parent forever for the rest of your life you got to take care of this child. Or this child is someone in your... I mean, and it's because you didn't have sexual discipline. Or there was no sex... There was a lack of sexual discipline because of attraction, lust, desire. You got this baby mama that you don't know. You so, you might have seen her. This might be the first time you've seen her in your life. It could be a couple times or so, but... Somebody you don't know. You just, you just so good. You know the the body is so banging, and you get it in as soon as she gave you the opportunity. She, you ain't even gotta know anything about her. <laughs> Guys, y'all know what I'm talking about. Guys, y'all be doing this stuff, right? And then become a baby daddy, and you don't even know her, right? So this child, not only do you got this child in your life for the rest of your life, now you affected this child's life because now this child most likely is not going to have a, a two-parent home because it was just desire. It was just lust. It was just a one-night stand for some people. And sometimes it's not even the whole night, right? And so these are the results of a lack of, of sexual discipline. That instant gratification that people get into. Or, or even worse, when you get into situations where 